Hello everyone, welcome back to ETS2, which is European Truck Simulator. We're still using Vipers 389 Custom over here. We got 193 miles, we got a, a road of uh, roof tile. So let's go on the road. Hope everyone's doing well. I hope you're enjoying the videos. I really have been trying to post more stuff, you guys. I really want to get into doing this. I enjoy doing it a lot, so I want to get into doing it. I want to find more things to do, more, more games to play, more stuff to post. Turn left. Once we get out on the road, we'll get rid of that map. Hopefully it'll get daylight enough we can get a thumbnail. Turns right. Screw this one up. So I hope everyone's doing well. Hope you've been enjoying the videos. I did finally get LSPD Power back working. So it will be back on the channel. I still gotta make some, fix some things. I don't know. There's still some issues that's come up that I don't know how, what happened. But that's in the process of being taken care of. At the roundabout, take the second exit. I hit your own button. <coughs> and I'm still hitting the wrong button. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Try and get that off the screen. You would think by now I remember that, but I still hadn't remembered exactly what key it is. I have it set up different over here than what I do on an ATS. Hope everyone's staying safe. Hope everyone's enjoying the videos. Like I said, I, mean, I have been trying to get in here and post more stuff. I want to try to get more of a, of, a, of a variety of different types of stuff to post. One of my biggest issues is too, guys, that I use Shadowplay, and I can only record stuff that that's all. All thing I had to record with is Shadowplay, so I only can record stuff that it supports. And I've tried a few other games over here. I've tried Red Dead. I've tried um, Resident Evil, so, and, and they don't. No one watches them. So I have more that watches this and like American Truck. 
and they'll see more than they did then. So. Yeah, that's what I'm We hit the wall. Oops. We're still drunk, don't worry. I think right here, guys, would be a good place to get a... No, not an email, a thumbnail. Of the truck. Need a thumbnail. It's pretty light right here, so we can we can see the truck. I want to thank everyone that did come out and watch the uh, stream the other night over on Twitch. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, like I said, the LS50 part is back up and going. I gotta fix some issues that I noticed while I was recording today. Playing and recording. There is some issues that going on that I'm gonna have to look into. But that's normal. Always let me know if you want to see more of the ETS2 videos because I am uh, going to be making more. I won't be using the European trucks too much. I'm not really a fan of them. Been quiet, guys. Let you hear that cat engine.
They are forty-four dollar too. Got a hundred and eleven miles to go. So guys, there's a video out there. I don't know where it come from. Um, I seen this over on Penguin's mod site on his on his Facebook channel, uh, on his Facebook page. Uh, I don't know if Mac released this video talking about the obviously or the new whatever the new name of that new Freightliner is. I mean, uh, Mac is coming to my truck somewhere. He's showing some footage and stuff, you know. Me personally, I couldn't find the video on their site. But it's going to be a, a big privilege to have Mac come to the game. It's going to be huge. Hit the wrong button again. That's 73 miles. Go ahead and leave that map up for the rest of the way. Just want to get in here guys to a quick little run. Like I said, still using Viper 389 over here. Not a lot of uh, US trucks over here for ETS, so 
There's a few on the workshop, you know, there's actually the international truck that um, that SCS put out over there, the international long star. Someone has modded it and put it on the workshop over here. And we do have a mod of it, so you know, we may check that out. Hit the car. So if anyone knows any American trucks we can use for over here on ETS2, haven't really seen anything come out that still works, you know, let me know. I didn't even roll the window down on this trip. Look at that. Because they don't roll down on this truck. This is the old version, it, it don't roll down.
go straight on. Turn left. All right, we're here. You have arrived at your destination. Your wrap guidance is now finished. All right, well, they want this trailer. I'd say, guys, I've been playing uh, the, the beta of ATS over there, and there's a lot of mixed reviews about the sound, you know, the engine sounds, horn sounds, uh, stuff like that, you know. Let me know your comments on what you think on it. Um, Let me know what you think about the sound. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what somebody was calling my phone. To me, uh, the, the sounds sound pretty good, but you know, th there's been a lot of mixed reviews about it on the sounds of the, of the game. This car just does not want to turn today. Or maybe it's because I've been recording all day. I know there's been a lot of, like I said, I know there's been a lot of mixed reviews about them, but me personally, I like them. Because, you know, it's no secret to anyone that drives this truck right here in this game. And this truck is a loud truck, but it's, it's supposed to be, you know. Well, with the F mod, it, it changes a lot inside the cab. All right, we drove 193 miles, took us five hours, 31 minutes to get here. We consumed 34, four, four gallons of fuel. So we're gonna look for a different load here. Uh, 
let's see, we got rice, we got packed box, uh, post boxes, packages, beans, we got some steps, some stairs, plastic foam wrap, then we got We got some electronics, some truck rims, some gum, some olives, and some potatoes. What are the truck rims? Right, they're loading it up. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video. I just want to get ahead and do a quick video. So thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and have a good day.